Hey guys, and welcome back! It's me, Jan again, bringing you another video. And this time I'm especially happy to present you some of the core gameplay features of Mining 43 Deadly Desert. So, for those of you who are not familiar with our hack strategy game series, a quick introduction. In 1943 Deadly Desert you take command over units, namely tanks and infantry or even planes and you play through settings set in World War II. You have a lot of strategic options to overpower and outplay your enemies and now in Deadly Desert we added even more options for you to explore. So let's have a look at the newest additions to the game. Now here we are in the first mission of the Allied Forces campaign. And the first thing you might notice is that there is a lot of black fog. Yeah, we adjusted the fog of war in Deadly Desert. You now don't see the whole map at once. Which means there is a lot of surprises and discoveries waiting for you to be found in the shadows. Maybe some supplies or some enemies. You have to find out yourself. And of course, new music, as you can hear in the background. I think our sound designers really outdid themselves. This time, again, really, really awesome soundtrack. And yeah, of course, a lot of new units. Each side now has seven different tanks. We also adjusted the buy menu in the supply depot. You now have this little info tab over here with the stars. That means the medium tank, for example, has three stars defense, three stars attack and four stars movement range. And also there is now some text displayed, like in the tank destroyer, for example, telling you that it is excellent against other tanks. Yeah, good. Now let's move our tanks forward. Yeah, you can see that I just used up all of my movement points for my infantry tank over here, but there are still some tiles open I can move to. This is the new charge ability. Um, it is indicated by this wings symbol, symbol over here, icon over here. And it means that you can move two additional tiles to get that little extra range for your strategic positioning and attacking of enemies. The twist is that it costs a lot of fuel to move these two extra tiles. If I now move over here, I already used half the fuel of my tank. And yeah, those two tiles cost the same amount of fuel that the six movement points before did. And it's really costly, but can be really useful. So, use this new feature wisely. Now, let's quickly get rid of these German forces over here. Move our tanks to the front line. How about shooting you first? And then you will be dead. Great. Well, let us get rid of this armored car over here. Hmm, we don't have enough range. Luckily for us, we can use the charge ability. Ah. We were not able to kill him in that turn, but why don't we use our beloved global abilities? They are of course also back. You can still use an airstrike to devastate your enemies or scan for some enemies with the radar. Yep. And we can even use some paratroopers. And now we were still able to get rid of the enemy in one turn. Destroy all enemy squads. We did that. Okay, so I already know that there are two enemies over here. But I don't want to risk my tanks over here and use up all the fuel they have. 
This is why I will now use another new ability. You can now mount up your infantry with the jeep icon over here. And then they can move a lot further and faster. But of course they are defenseless if they are in a jeep and you can only mount and demount once per turn. And here we are on another map, this time from the multiplayer pass and play mode. Besides all the new units, you might notice this blue radius over here. This is generated by the command tank. The command tank is a very important unit, because all units that standing inside of that radius gain 10% more damage. But that comes at a price. If you lose the command tank, then your mission is automatically failed. So it's your choice. Get it up to the front line and buff up your units, but risk to lose the mission at an unfortunate point, or leave it in the backside and maybe have it or have some difficulties to get rid of the enemies. Yeah, it is also indicated by the swords on your units. They are now golden if they are in range of the command tank. And if they, for example, move outside of the range of the command tank, then the swords turn grayish. Alright. Really awesome. You can also see that we are heavily fortified at the moment. And we can even increase that by moving our infantry into the trenches. These trenches over here, if we move our infantry inside, they are then automatically fortified and gain a defensive bonus. Which is really awesome. To enhance that even further, we switched up some units or we switched how the bunker works or what he can do, actually. You now have the ability for suppression fire. This is a really cool feature I want to show you right now. For that I have to move my infantry unit in the range of the bunker. Okay. It's really good that I'm playing against myself, otherwise I would be dead already. Okay, so the bunker is now in range and we can de deal suppression fire on this infantry over here. As you can see we didn't deal a lot of damage, but this unit is now suppressed. That means if I move my infantry... Ba-bam! The bunker is automatically shooting at it and dealing a lot of damage. So now, one of my infantry guys are dead. But our fortress would be nothing without some hybrid artillery. You can drop down the gun and then you can attack ground units with it. Of course you can only do that once per turn. So, if we need some defense against planes, I can lift up the cannon again and we can shoot at planes. This is a really cool feature and yeah, it's now a lot easier to defend against enemy planes. What is also cool, cool is that we switched the movement of artillery units. In our previous games, artillery often had less movement points than normal units or tanks for example. This time you just have to use a tow truck and you can move up your artillery units. Of course, unloading and loading is only working once per turn. So you have to be very wise about when you well pack up your artillery and when to unload it. Okay, let me switch to turns again. Okay, and now I can unload it and shoot at the enemy. Well, is there anything I forgot? No, I think we are done. I think that, yeah, that should cover all the major features and changes in 1943 Deadly Desert. It's out now in the App Store and on Google Play. If you haven't already, download it and have fun with it. And as always, if you like our videos, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.